I think this video is deserved. My wife is just busting my you know what here. She said, Yeah, nice not talking to you. What do we not use mics anymore? Okay, what do I what do I do with FT8? With FT8, I use it to test propagation. I don't usually talk on FT8, or not talk rather, you know, use it for any kind of contest or any kind of making contacts. I use it to test propagation. Now you can see tonight we have a, a, another huge VHF band opening. This has been like this since 7 a.m. this morning. It hasn't stopped. So I came out earlier and uh, got on my um, radio here just as a portable setup here with the little um, carbon fiber mast out there, about 25 feet. And I decided to get on um, FT8. And you can see here, just for example, I'm using a, a seven inch antenna, the compact antenna, just to see how well this band is. And using the compact antenna, which is seven inches long, I've already been received on the PSK reporter in Alabama, uh, N4WLO in Alabama. And then the N4WLO, if I go down here, had given me a, a response, but of course I lost them. So <clears throat> N4WLO, 510 miles away um, on FTA. But like I said, you know, I've bitched about it for years and told people, you know, if you, yeah, I got I me. Mean, I'm using Q65 for moon bounce. And like my wife says, she, she, you know, nice not talking to you. How lame is that? Okay. So she doesn't even know what FT8 is, but she jumped on the bandwagon that I've been on for years. Listen, it has a place. It's got a place for me. The place is, uh, FT8 is for testing propagation for me to see, push the limits. I like pushing the limits. That's exactly what I'm doing here. Um, it decodes signals well below the noise floor. Now, there's other ones that are, are faster, FT4, I think, and some that you can actually chat on. Um, I'm just interested to, to know that that 7-inch antenna um, is up. Now, if I had my 13 element on the side of the house that's up on my tower, you know, up on my tower, or this cubicle quad, I probably would be able to talk all the way, you know, across the gulf at this point. Um it's getting pretty pretty solid over here. So FT8 is basically a digital mode developed by uh, Joe Taylor, um, uh, K1JT, I think it is. And uh, basically, it's your computer connected uh, or, you know, sending CQ instead of a microphone calling CQ, CQ. It's calling and it's giving your grid square and your call sign. And then the remote station who receives you picks up. And, you know, it says, hey, that's, uh, uh, you know, KJ4YZI. And his computer responded and gave me a signal of uh, neck 21 dB. And, um, you know, I guess that's below the noise floor. And uh, it, it'll decode minus 28 below the noise floor, I think, FT8 will. So, if I, you know, obviously if I had a Yagi up, I would be able to be making a bunch of contacts up in the Panhandle, up in Alabama and stuff. I know that for a fact. I've done it many years, one of my favorite modes. Well, I have my 9700 and stuff. But yeah, for those who, who don't understand it, because I got a few emails and, and uh, comments today on the video that said, yeah, real impressive. Your computer did a great job on those contacts. Well, okay, yeah, the computer's doing it, but I'm pushing the limits. I'm testing, is that really happening? Does this propagation map really work? Well, the way, again, I had a whole video on this, pskreporter.info. And what this is saying is that every one of these digipeters and stations, you know, for instance, here's um, NI4CE. Check out the four, you get nice. Um, that NI4CE digipeter is being received over here. And what, or a station over here, right here, this is a uh, digipeter dash 10, but here's a dash seven here, which means they are handheld. So WX5II-7 is being received at a great distance more, you know, way over here, KT4CW-3. So basically, you could tell if that packet was received on APRS, there must be propagation. And as I've said before, this propagation map is real-time contacts. It is not some terrestrial solar data that says, you may have something over here. No, this is real. So... Any reports here before I head off to bed? Nope. But uh, at least we know that this map works, of course. 
Two meter propagation. Oh, there's another one right here in Georgia. I was received by KQ4NMU in Georgia. That's 315 miles on an omnidirectional elliptical, possible elliptical polarized, as Dr. Jack says, compact 10 and 2 meter 440 plus. If you are space restricted or, you know, you, you got to get that in, you got to get an antenna somewhere. You're on a balcony on a third floor. Um, you are attic prone. This may be your only option. And it actually does work. That antenna does work. 7-3.